Well, this city update, I'm joined today by Lieutenant Gary Womble with the Fable Police Department, and we're talking about a successful program that they participate and that they run here at the office. But I understand recently you just participated in a nationwide event, Operation Medicine Drop. Um, tell me, how did that go? And tell me a little bit about the history of the Medicine Drop program. Right. So Operation Medicine Drop was started through a partnership between North Carolina Safe, Project Safe Kids and the North Carolina Department of Insurance. And this was started to basically keep kids safe and prevent accidental poisonings. Um, we do during the week, this last week has been nationwide Operation Medicine Drop, and our local city in, uh, city of Fayetteville made a decision to have Operation Medicine Drop on the 23rd of March. Um, this occasion is where we um, had different locations around the city where we put a tent up, tent up, and mostly this was pharmacies and drug stores, and an officer was present or volunteers were present to receive medications from people, old medications, expired medications, medications that are no longer needed, that are laying around people's homes, and we could dispose of those medications safely. Um, this program is designed to do three things. One is to prevent accidental overdoses or poisonings. Two, to protect our water rays, and three, to stop kids from getting a hold of medications um, and, and poisoning themselves or harming themselves with this. Um, if we can do those three things and prevent these things from happening, we consider this to be a success. Uh, this year, we took in over 200.2 pounds of uh, medicines in just one day, and we're very excited about that. Now, and, and you touched on a lot of important points. You know, it's about protecting your homes, protecting the children, um, and uh, protecting our waterways because we don't want people just flushing their medications down a toilet thinking they'll get rid of it because it'll dissolve. The, these medicines are designed to be water soluble. Right. So this provides a safe alternative. Um, and this isn't the only program. You also have these drop boxes set up not only here in the lobby of the police department on Hay Street, but also at the substations at, at Cross Creek exactly. in Campbellton. You know, Gavin, I don't th I'm not sure how many people know this, but we've been putting this out more and more mm -hmm. that at each district station, whether it's here on Hay Street, out on Rayford Road or out on Sycamore Dairy Road, we have these drop boxes, boxes in our lobbies. And this drop box, you can bring your medications in here mm -hmm. anonymously and just deposit them into this drop box. You don't have to fill out any paperwork. You don't have to do anything, but put your, discard your medications into this box and we'll take and dispose of them. So what we want everyone to do is to recognize and realize that you do not have to flush your medications mm -hmm. down the toilet. We're trying to get people to prevent doing that, to protect the waterways, so we don't have to try to filter out these medications for fresh drinking water. So if they would just bring them down to any one of these locations at our district stations, inside the lobby we have these drop, drop boxes conveniently placed for you. And I know we've been taking in a lot over the last few years. I mean, just the last three years, I think it was, what, 2017? How many pounds? It was, it was over 1,100 pounds of mm -hmm. medications, and I think in 2018 it was over 700 pounds. So this year we're starting off the year with a success of, of 200 pounds already that we've gained, and we want to do this again. So we want to try to break all records if we can. Well, thanks uh, a bunch for telling us a little bit about the program and, and having this out here for citizens to participate. And thank you for watching this City Update.